California just became the first and uh, only state to require that pet stores only sell rescue animals. This is a big change. Uh, the reason that this change was made was to combat puppy mills and kitten factories where they breed a bunch of puppies and kittens uh, in very terrible situations and circumstances and then sell them at your mall pet stores. That has all changed in California. According to Patrick O'Donnell, uh, an assembly member, he says, this is a big win, win for our four-legged friends, of course, but also for California taxpayers who spend more than $250 million annually to house and euthanize animals in our shelters. Um, so that is it. There's a tweet from Patrick O'Donnell that just says, thank you so much, and you should go see it. It's got a cute little dog licking his lips. Um, the landmark law breaks the puppy milk supply chain, uh, according to the CEO of the ASPCA. Um, that pushes puppies into California pet stores and has allowed unscrupulous breeders to profit from abusive practices. So what do you guys think about this, five words or less? Very popular news. Bravo, Cali, bravo. ASPCA, okay, with me, <laughs> stupid. I should have said something like, yeah, dog. Yeah, <laughs> simple. No, it's nice, you did both now, they're both in there. Yes, yes. I got both. Um, this is a good thing. I'm trying to find the thing. bad side There's of no it. There's no bad side to it. Sorry. There's no bad side. I mean, I, I guess you, there are still, if you, if you are super into the idea of going to a breeder, which some people are for their reasons, then you can still go to uh, licensed breeders. But mm -hmm. um, when it comes to pet stores, we sh, you know, we sh, there's a huge population of dogs that need homes um, that are either from shelters or just on the streets that need, or from rescue foundations or that are in foster care um, that, that now can have a place in these pet stores. I think it's great. Love That's it. cool that it's a law, you know, that it's not just a policy that certain pet stores or certain places are are adopting. It's like this is this is the law, the lay of the land. So I guys, you know what? I, I decided I want a dog. Really? Yeah. Really? You have never <laughs> petted. You never had pets, correct? Grace's face was like, really? Because we've talked about dogs before and you've but always way, been like, I don't get pets. But the way your eyebrows just went like um What did your face do? Was, was like, it like, really? it was no, like you hold on, go like by one? I can't even skeptical I can't, of it. Surprise, really? but encouraged, but skeptical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grace what do you think? What? Baldridge, skeptical? Well, like, I was like, I wasn't sure if it's a joke, is no, it? Explain. No, it's not a joke. You let, let me elucidate, let me articulate. Um, no, because just like hearing about your your stories with Casper and then your new dog you have. No, your new dog's name is Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson, and then you have you have, you adopted a cat. I just feel like, and I and people always get mad at me when I talk about pets on Prop Trigger because like, how is Jason so clueless? But I've never owned a pet, so I I I haven't experienced that. But I just think. Having a pet would be great. And actually I talked actually, sorry, I talked to a lady that had a really cute Sharpe dog at work this weekend, and she was um, handicapped. And just seeing how this dog brought this sense of calm over her and the sense of, of happiness that that is missing from my life on a daily basis. So I mean, and I think also a pet would just be nice to to, to add to the family. The girls. So you're yes. literally gonna get a dog. What well, kind so of dog my do you daughter's want? my daughter's boyfriend bought her a great dane. Oh, a, uh, yeah, shit. a purebred Great Dane. That's but, a big dog. Yeah, it's That's a big dog. That's Scooby Doo. Munchkin didn't want it, so Munchkin was like, no. Lately. No, let's start with the smaller dog. So I'm thinking about a beagle. Wait, so what happened to the Great Dane? Oh, the one, it's living with the boyfriend now. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was it was gonna be a gift to get. You're gonna get you a beagle. I want a beagle or. So are you gonna go to a breeder or are you gonna go to a I don't know yet, because previously I was gonna just look on Craigslist for a dog, right? Mm -hmm. But okay. that's the wrong way to go about it, right? Yeah, okay, you yeah. go to a shelter. So now that's with this. Grace. She, take Grace with you, She'll Yeah, help. I mean, but I think. She doesn't like she doesn't like picking out dogs though, just kidding. I hate it, I hate it. Don't because you wanna take them all, right? You wanna take them all? Yeah, I do, I have a problem. But I don't want a big dog, I want a smaller dog. And that's why I could take it with me and have it as an accessory like they do here in Los Angeles, just because I think a smaller dog would be more You know, you can still bring bigger dogs and have them with you as an accessory. Yeah. They just it just is more of a thing. Like I would bring Casper was 80 pounds and he he came along. That's amazing. I would even carry him too. It's you know, you get looks for it, but why not? If your little dog can be in the bag, <laughs> if I find a bag big enough, I should why not bring, bring a great my day. dog too. Um the the uh, head of the American the vice president of governmental relations for the American Kennel Club told the LA Times uh, AB 485 blocks, which is the code for the new law. It blocks all of California's pet lovers from having access to professional licensed and ethical commercial breeders. This is not good for Californians or their companion animals. It seems like they're saying like, why wouldn't there be a hybrid situation where instead of mandating the rescues go there, you also sell purebreds from licensed salespeople. 
No. I'm, I, you know, if you want that purebred, you're gonna then find. Then it's your thing. That's you're gonna do the Sophie thing, and you're gonna go find yeah. the perfect, ethically bred corgi with the beautiful cute. blue eyes. Because for some reason, people don't like blue-eyed corgis, and I'm gonna take that one, and I'm gonna sit it down, and I'm gonna take photos of it, like studying or some weird shit like you do, and melt people's hearts by having it on her like desktop. Yeah, you can true. you can still do what Sophie did. Yeah, and most people will if you're really <laughs> if your heart is set on a specific breed, right. um, you don't need the the help of just sort of like why not pet store maybe like yeah. I you'll go and you'll find that specific breed if that's what you so choose. But there are so many amazing like weird mutt ish dogs that are adorable yes. that get that get passed over and are you know put down because the shelters are so crowded that now you can use uh, and you can see and they're given a chance at pet stores. I think that's fair. What's yeah. weird is this: if this does shut down puppy mills, all the puppies from the puppy mills will be displaced and then be rescues and then be able to be sold in pet stores. Yeah, yeah. it's so weird. It's really weird. I want to tell one touching story. I'm glad you're convinced to get a dog because this would convince you even more. Okay, there's a story about an Akita from Japan named Hachiko that belonged to a, a guy and that guy went to work and then came back on the subway every day and the dog would go and wait for him at the subway. And then one day the owner died, but that did not stop Hachiko from going every day to the subway platform and waiting for hours for his owner to come home, I'm getting chills. And now you can go in Japan, let's see, we have a photo of the Hachiko statue that's out there to remind people. That's it, yeah, that's right, and that's the most busy intersection in the world people walk through. Right there, Hachiko, and you can actually look at the remains of Hachiko, this might be a little terrifying. That's oh, him. Oh, that's not they taxidermied that's really him. well done. What kind of dog is that? An Akita, and they found out it was one of only 30 purebred Akitas in the world. And so that, I don't know what, what fact that helps with. Maybe go find a, a licensed pure breeder if that's what you want. But like, oh my God, that's testament to what dogs can do for you and how they can enrich your lives, much like we've enriched your life today on Pop Trigger. So thank you all for watching. That's the end of our show. Grace and Jason, Yo. we're always here for you. And we will wait outside your door every <laughs> night after you go to sleep. And then right before you wake up, we'll leave. <laughs> so you won't notice, but we are doing that we are every there day. there for you. Mm -hmm. We love you deeply and forever. Yeah. And we also need money, so if we can borrow some money, that's it. Yeah. Love you, bye-bye. <laughs>